What's going on guys, Golden here, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to fix slow download speeds or update speeds for Warzone 2.0 and Modern Warfare 2. In this video I'm going to be going over several strategies and backup strategies that you can use if the initial strategies don't work for you. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video to see all of these different strategies and make sure that your game is downloading at the optimal speed. One last thing, if this video helps you in any way, please consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate all the recent support we've got as we've already grown almost 100 subscribers in the past month alone. Alright, that's enough talk, now let's get into the video. The first thing I'm going to show you just for proof that my internet isn't that bad is a quick Google speed test. So as you can see, I'm going to get about 362 download and 50-ish upload now if we hop onto battle.net where warzone 2 and modern warfare 2 download you can see that i'm only getting about 280 kilobits per second which is absolutely sh so the first strategy i'm going to suggest is that you unplug your router in and plug it back in this is going to reset your wi-fi connection to your provider which may solve your issue an additional step you should take is always make sure that your network drivers on your pc are fully updated and this will ensure that your network is working at optimal speeds for all of your apps. These are just some preliminary checks that I'd like you to do in case that fixes your problem. If not, here's the second method. So the first step in fixing this is going to the options tab right there, clicking game settings, and then clicking up where it says downloads. Next you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom until you see limit download bandwidth. By doing this, what you're actually doing is limiting the amount of download speed you can get, which seems to trick Battle.net into actually setting your download speed at whatever point that you actually input here. For now, set this to 500 kilobits per second. Once the changes are saved, you can go ahead and click done. The next step is to pause the download for 5 to 10 seconds. Now you can resume the download and what you'll see is that the download bandwidth or the speed that it's downloading due to your network change is now all the way up to 500 kilobits per second or at least close to there. Let this sit for another 10 to 15 seconds as it continues to rise to the limit of 500. Once it's gone up enough, I want you to click on the options menu again, go back into the game settings, click on downloads, scroll down back to the limit bandwidth, and we're going to uncheck that box. Now once it says changes saved, go ahead and click done. And what you should see after you pause the download once again for 5 to 10 seconds is that the download speed on the bottom left is going to skyrocket up. Now I'm going to hit the resume download button and as you guys can see we are getting over 10 times the amount of download speed that we were getting at the very beginning which is a massive improvement. The longer that you let it download at this point the faster your network speed will become. So at this point in the video, you might have already found your fix, which is amazing. And of course, you have to subscribe if you're new here. But if you haven't, no need to worry. I have a backup option for this method that should help. So this is the final method and the backup option to the last thing that we just tried. What you're going to do is go back into the options, select the game settings, and go back to downloads. Once you scroll back down to the limit bandwidth section, you're going to enable that once again. Click the latest updates tab. And now, just like before, we're going to enter 500 kilobits per second into the limit. You're going to then click done. Now this is where it changes. We're gonna go back to the limit and change it to 1000. So now we've bumped it up a little bit. You're gonna click done and look at what it does and see if it raises it to that thousand or one megabit per second is what it should show. Following this, what we can do is bump it up to 1500, which would be 1.5 megabits per second. So what you can do here is just repeat this process for higher and higher numbers. So now we're at 5000 kilobits per second, which would be equivalent to 5 megabits per second, or 15,000, that would be 15 megabits per second, which is a very good speed to have. So this is a very good method. Just keep increasing it um, and hopefully your network bandwidth will eventually increase with it. Of course, here I have it on 
you know a bunch of nines which could actually help you um, I want you guys to try it out and let me know if this works for you in the comment section I know I made a video on this and a lot of people in the comments said this strategy actually worked for them so I'm glad to hear all of your comments and suggestions so leave them in the comment section and I will read and respond to every single one of those we are a community here and we're growing very fast and all of us have a job to help each other out because I know there's so many fantastic people just like you out there that are going to be looking for the same resolution to this problem that'll be it for me this video I hope my strategies helped you out if they did please consider subscribing to the channel we are growing super fast as I said and if you've stuck around this far hey you might as well stick around and see what else I have to offer I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day happy holidays and I'll see you next time